this crooked? Oh, now it's too crooked. <laughs> Hello. I don't know. This is definitely crooked. Whatever. Oh, woof. <laughs> That's crooked. Where were we? We're making balls. Speaking of balls, I just downloaded an app called Field. And I'm surprised it took me this long to get on this app. I've heard about it. I love it so far and I've been on it for 24 hours. If you've never heard of it, Field is like a sex positive app. It seems like it was designed for couples who are seeking to expand their relationship, but it's good for, you know, single people as well. People are so communicative. Most people, anyway, respect boundaries. People are very open about what it is that they're looking for. And these are things that I've never experienced on another dating app before. Like on Tinder or Hinge, you kind of have to just guess what someone is looking for. Like you never really know if someone is looking for just something casual or maybe something long term until you actually waste the f***ing time to go out and meet someone. I mean, I guess you can have those conversations via the app, but that's boring. But anyway, it's so nice to have more open and honest conversations with people with no judgment. It's great. I love it. I'm very excited to meet people. I'm gonna go get ice cream with a man tomorrow. How fun. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make some balls. <laughs> Ingredients. Let's get some things out of the way. First of all, garlic. We have a lot of garlic to chop. This recipe is a garlic parmesan meatball recipe, so we're gonna need a decent amount of garlic. But I'm only gonna chop as much as I have the energy to, which honestly might not be enough. Mama's tired. Is it okay if it's a little green? Cause it is slightly green. Oh, this does take a while, doesn't it? Hit it with a little salt. Okay, that's good enough, I'm tired. And my fingers are sticky, that is plenty. Moving on, an egg, mozzarella. I made a little mess. A bunch of parsley, that was maybe too much. Italian breadcrumbs. We measure nothing when it comes to balls. Grating some parm. That's a lot. Okay, we'll save some of this for later. Parmigiano, garlic, what else? Hit with some kosher salt and pepper. What's next? We roll them. <sighs> okay, roll the balls. Oh, wet, mm, wet, mm. We wet our hands after we mix. <laughs> I forgot. I haven't made meatballs in a minute. Oh, these are my favorite. That was a lot of parsley. I won't lie, that was a lot. I don't know what I was thinking. They smell fantastic already. <coughs> Pardon. This is where I should have wet my hands. Wet hands are important when fondling balls. You don't want ball residue on your hands. Balls. Okay. You know, I bet I could find someone who's into this on field. <laughs> You never know. <laughs> okay, some of them burned slightly, but that's okay. <laughs> and by slightly, I mean very much they burned. Toss some butter in there. I'm still learning this stove. I still haven't gotten the hang of this new apartment. It is fucking hot in here, <laughs> holy shit. Why am I wearing pants? Garlic, more butter. I made a lot of mistakes with this recipe. <laughs> what a mess, I am a mess today. A bunch of cheese, just go crazy. Parsley too. We remove these and get those zoodles in here. Hold on, I have an idea. I like to toast some breadcrumbs first. Okay, breadcrumbs are considerably toasted. Once again, something is stuck to the pan. Add the zoodles, give them a quick toss. Okay. And now we feast. This smells incredible, even though I did burn the balls. Mm-hmm. 
The Zoodles could use some salt, <laughs> but they're fine. Eyes unavailable, as the kids say. 